Yeah, I picked up oh, a bit of a nasty ankle injury during the game. Um, just twisted, fell awkwardly in a tackle. Um, so yeah, I had to have, I had to have surgery the week after. Uh, I'm now five and a half weeks post surgery. Um, out of my boot and and really cracking on with it now. So yeah, frustrating, frustrating time to get injured. Um, you know, I, I felt like I was getting back to my best following my other injury. You know, off the back of the Six Nations and really wanted to to be part of the Rainbow Cup and and setting us up for next season. And, and that wasn't to be. Um, but you know. It's not the end of the world. I'm, I'm going to be fit and ready to go for next season. And, you know, I'm really excited in the surroundings we're in that, that that's not far away now. And, and you know, the, the prospect of playing in here with fans is is something that, you know, I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, I, I think we do need to put it behind us. I think um, we won't make excuses. There's a million different excuses, but I don't think we should make them. I, th I think we weren't good enough. Um, and we've got a pre-season to, to look at ourselves and to be better. That's the only way we can look at it. I, I don't think there's a, you could say injuries, COVID, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, in the reality, we weren't good enough. Every team's had to deal with these things and, and we didn't deal with it well enough. So, you know, we've got pre-season to, to get in good shape individually, collectively, and, and make sure that we hit the ground running come next season. Um, and, you know, that's, that's the focus of the boys um, and, and obviously putting that last season behind us will be a big part of that. We come day one of preseason, it's gone and it's about it's about how we how we prepare and how we're gonna play next season. Yeah, no, it's brilliant and you know a lot of those guys really care about the club. Like that's why they want to sign on is because they love love being in Edinburgh and they love the club, they love the people. Um, and that's really important to me. Um, it's why I choose to re sign. You know, I love it here and, and I want to be successful and, and those guys have got the same feeling. Uh, they haven't re-signed here just to be comfortable. They re-signed here to be successful. So um, they know what's involved in that and, and they want to be part of that. Well, WP's older than me, so I have to pass it to WP first. Um, but you know, I'm creeping up there slowly. Um, uh, luckily, with me and Rambo's birthday being the same day, we'll take it as joint at the, sa at the same time, squad father. But um, no, nah, it's obviously sad to see him retire. A, a great mate. and and a huge part of the squad, you know, on and off the field, um, a big hole to fill. But, you know, that's what happens. And, you know, he, he felt it was the right time for him. And, you know, I'm sure he'll do well in, in, his, in his future careers. Yeah, no, he's a skillful rugby player. He's, he's, got, um, he's got a good all-round skill set. You know, he can run the ball well. He's a good distributor, a good kicker. Um, something I think he'll add a lot to our back line. Um, he's a great lad as well, you know, from from the tours that we've been on together and uh, through Scotland and stuff, he gets on really well with, with everyone. And you know, I, I can see him fitting in really well here, both on and off the pitch. So it's, uh, that would be a great signing for us. Yeah, I think oh, I think you just realise how good it is when when we play in front of the crowd. You don't realise what you what you've got till it's gone type of thing. Yeah, you know, I think um, this season we were privileged to be able to do what we love. We're still able to play the game. Um, and you know we're still able to take a lot of enjoyment from, you know, coming in and training every day and doing things that some people just weren't able to do. You know, they're stuck at home, working from home or on furlough. So we're not, you know, in any way saying, oh, well, look at us, we're hard done by. But um, professional rugby players, you know, we play in front of supporters and we play for supporters, and that that was just missing and it just didn't feel right. It, it never felt right, and you know, to come in. Uh, to a new season with the prospect of, of fans being back in and for us you know it's especially special meaning that you know fans are going to be in here for the first time and we can build a bit of excitement around that being new anyway but just to have supporters back here is going to be massive for us and not all the boys would be be so excited for that I think the biggest thing is how close it is to the pitch I think all the good venues are are close to the pitch um, I know our supporters like the standing section and you know the standing sections meters from the touchline um, so you know hopefully that's going to feel for a player that, that the fans are on top of us they can create a good atmosphere um, and yeah I think that I think that would be it and yeah I, you're never really going to know there's going to be a little bit of uncertainty about what it's going to be like but that's quite exciting as well to see something that's ours something that it's not a temporary we're, we're not you know oh we'll see how this goes it's here now and, and we've got to make it our own and, and that'll be a lot to do with how we play 
you know, if we play if we play well, the supporters are going to get behind us. They're going to have a positive experience. We're going to win, and and it's going to create more and more vibe around the place. And and you know, that's something that that's on us really. Yeah, I think something different. Like you say, it's something different and something that our fans are going to have to buy into. I think, like you know, you can we can either make it make it something special about playing here, or we can make it an inconvenience. So. I know the players and I know the supporters as well are going to want the first thing. You know, we make it something, something different and something special about playing here. You know, the fans can can see the guys walking out and stand right there and cheer them on. You know, let's make that something that that is unique to Edinburgh um, and something that won't be at any other grounds where where that isn't a thing. So, yeah, I, I think that's the best way to look at. It. Yeah, I think definitely. Um, you know, we've. It's been kind of amplified by the fact that we've not been playing in front of supporters. But, you know, Murrayfield's meant for test matches. It's not meant for, for playing in front of um, seven, 8,000, whatever we're going to get in here. When, when, that's, when it's a sellout in here, I think boys are going to realise this is what we've been waiting for and this is what the club's been waiting for. Um, and, yeah, just really excited to see that happen.